everybody, welcome back to Power Drum Diesel, and we are here with Willard, our VP44 powered 24 valve 2001 Cummins. We're doing another test. So far, we have done a fueling upgrade via Quadzilla Tunes. We've also done a turbo upgrade with the Aggressor 6064. In our last video, I said, should we do custom tuning first or injectors first? And most people wanted to see custom tuning. I don't think there'll be a big power difference in custom tuning, but we're gonna see. And I also wanna see, can I pick up some of that lag that we have from that boost limited feeling? We're gonna try to tune that out so we can kind of get a little bit better throttle response out of this little bit bigger turbo and uh, see if we pick any power. So we're gonna go out on the street, drive around, get our kind of impressions, load a new tune, see if it's any better, and then come back to the dyno and see if it actually makes more power. So we're driving Willard today around, do some testing, it's gonna be a fun day. Let's get started. All right, so we are back in this truck. It's been a week or two since we drove this thing. Dude, it has been, it drives good. 6064, sounding good. That whistle's beautiful. <sighs> it does. I love this turbo, it sounds so good. So right now we have on just the stock Quadzilla tunes. As you buy a Quadzilla, load it up, these are the tunes that come on the module. We're gonna kind of drive around for a minute, and see how it feels compared to our custom tunes. What do you think? Do you think we'll pick up power? Do you think drivability is gonna change? What are your what are your guesses, Meyer? I would I would guess that we're gonna pick up a little bit of power just because I mean the fuel quantity should be the same as what you can achieve with a box tune, but the timing you know, timing tables are gonna be custom, right? They're gonna be better. Yeah. They're gonna be more catered to what you're actually having in the truck and not just whatever the box decided to give you. Um, but I think the main thing you're going to notice is the drivability, just being custom, you know, tailored to your setup. Yeah. I mean, a little bit better ramp in and everything else. That's what we saw on the dyno. We can kind of feel that boost limited feelings, what you call it. Yeah. And so we kind of took care of that in the custom tunes, correct? Yep, we do. And that being said, um, right now we have stock injectors in here, so it might be close, but not great. But you put a bigger injector in here, you're gonna really want custom tunes because yeah, those box tunes are gonna be way off. Yeah, so. Basically, the more you do to your truck, the more off they're custom, gonna be. Yeah, the more custom needs to be. I wanted to do injectors, but the comments of our last video, people wanted to see custom tuning first. I kind of feel like, I feel like custom tuning is much more beneficial when you have bigger injectors, things like that, because you actually need to tune them in. The stock ones are pretty close, but yeah, we'll find out. So maybe I'll hop on the freeway here real quick. Do a couple of roll-ons, we'll hop out the other way and then we'll switch tunes and see how it goes. Yeah, that's a delay. Yeah. So that delay was this pretty... This freaking gets. It's like, <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh, hold on. <laughs> once, that del once that delay was over, it was pretty wild. But yeah, that definitely got boot that delay. And I remember that towing last time. All of a sudden, mm. like, I give it fuel and it was pretty good. Then all of a sudden, I'd have a, a surge of power. A surge yeah. of power. Like, it just was a little bit too delayed. We saw that in the dyno Someone's also. Someone's towing a house. Someone's towing a house. Brody's Tacos. However, it is very clean. Like, when I give it Dude, fuel, it there's, there's nothing coming. Oh, it's a little bit there, but not That much. was when it finally advanced. The, like, yeah. okay, now we got some boost. So, yeah, overall, I'd say for just can tuning, like, it's pretty impressive. Quads did a pretty good job for your stock components. Uh, but I'm excited to see if we can improve upon it. Yeah, it does run pretty good. It does. Well, that doesn't seem too bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's been pretty good for stock injectors. All right, new tune is in. Do a little, definitely, I don't know, does it, did it pick up power? Is that just like me hoping? I feel, I mean, I feel like it feels more powerful than me. But it could just be like the hope and the, the real, reality. Curious when we put this in the dyno. So this is our new tunes, uh, both max level compared to the max level of the Quadzilla tunes. Um, still very clean the street. No. Yeah, it's very clean. Yeah. It's not, I wouldn't say it's smoky or anything either. No. It is peppier. Like I definitely feel like from a stop sign or away from a stoplight it's a little quicker to just go I feel like I don't have to like push the pedal as far it almost felt like the other one had the other tune had like about the right amount of pre-boost but like the AS like the AFC spring was too a little stiff. too stiff yes yeah, yeah the, the feel was too delayed compared to the boost a little bit so this feels a lot nicer when I say a lot nicer that's I mean it wasn't bad before but this is nicer as far as like 
driving experience. It's a little peppier, a little quick, quicker. I don't think it's a massive change, but it definitely is a change. As far as street driving is concerned, I do like the custom tunes better. The, the can tunes were very good. I was very happy with them. And I would have been happy until I drove these. These are just a little bit nicer. It's definitely peppier by far. A lot of that could be the, the pedal. Do we, need to, do we need to tune the pedal in the tune? Do you know? Great question. <laughs> Griff's our main VP tuner. And it feels to me like he's giving me a more aggressive pedal if I was to say what it is. So I'm definitely like, I'm scooting around a lot easier, which is a little nicer for me. I like more, this is more familiar to what I typically do in my common rails, more familiar pedal feel, if you will. I think we get on the dyno and see if we actually picked up any power, if it's all just a pedal tune. <laughs> I don't think it's pedal tune because I floored it earlier. And floored is floored. And it floored came is floored, up, way quicker. Came out better, not like way, but like say, it felt like it had the right amount of pre-boost and then it just, eh, with the stock tune, it hangs a little bit. Yeah. And then it finally goes, or is this is more like linear all the way up. Yeah. Which makes sense because you know Griff, who tuned it, like knows yep. what turbo stuff's on this. Yeah. Which is basically stock, but yes, we do offer custom tuning on these. Like when you call in, you'll get with Griff, and Griff's one is actually going to talk you with you and, and write it for you. He's been doing this for years, and so we rather than us doing it, say Griff, give us a good tune, and he did, and it's quite a bit nicer. And then when we start putting bigger injectors, he'll do it again for us. And so yeah, we're going to get this thing on the dyno now, see if we can graph the differences on the street. I can feel it. Will we see it in the dyno? Maybe. Dude, it's freaking... It gets! <laughs> well, Pillard, That's pretty good. Job. Well, for stock injectors, just some tuning in a small and a little turbo upgrade. Like, like uh, I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah. like, it does good. All the VP haters, VP44 haters, hey, this, is, this one's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty good. There's all these trucks out there on the road, so I can see why. they, For one, they're the best looking truck ever made. We all know that. <laughs> uh, I know you actually believe that, and that's the funny part to me. Yeah, it is. This is the best looking truck no. ever was made. Five. Oh my gosh. I will say it was the biggest come up for sure, because first gens looked like oh my crap. Like to me, I don't like a first gen. But it was a big and then second gen, like huge up. And ever since then, it's just been it slightly It went to increases. pinnacle and it's been slightly decreasing no, See, since. that's where you and I disagree. First gens, like down there somewhere. Right. And then you got second, second gens, gens. And then it's just kind of like gens. slowly getting yeah. better and better. And then I'll say fifth gen, I don't know how I feel about fifth gen. I feel like we may have gone downhill with the fifth gen. But anyway. They've all been downhill since 2002. <laughs> no, I disagree. <laughs> A strong disagree. All right. We'll to start the dyno. We just got back to our street testing. Uh, I do feel the custom tuning was more responsive, peppier. Uh, it felt more powerful, but is it really, or is it just the pedals more aggressive? So we're gonna get on the, on the dyno here and see if it makes more power. Again, this is a stock VP44 with our aggressor 60, 64 millimeter turbocharger right here and uh, Quadzilla tuning, that's all that's done this thing. It does have a built transmission from somebody somewhere in its life. We didn't do it, but it does shift a little bit firmer, but really performance upgrades, Quadzilla tuning and this aggressor 60, 64. And uh, it's on the dyno, let's see what it does. So for the dyno to be consistent, we need a lockup switch. So Meyer's doing this kind of like a temporary harness real quick. That gives us lockup control on a switch in the cab so we can put in fourth gear, lock it up and have re repeatable testing. Uh, this wasn't on the street, the street's just very normal, but for the dyno, lockup's a big deal. All right guys, we're on the dyno and we have the same tune as before. It's a, we've ran this before, this is a Quadzilla tune that comes with the module. It's like 362, 363. Last time on the dyno, but it's a hot day, different day. And really you want to compare things on the same day, same dyno, so we're gonna do that. So right now we have the tune from Quadzilla as it comes to the module, which is runs really good. We're gonna run that one, then we'll load up the tune that we have for it and see if it's any better. Our tune's kind of custom made for a bigger turbo, so a little different, but uh we're on stock injectors. Hopefully we'll pick up a little power, but we're gonna find out. So right now we are in the Quadzilla tune. So we're not actually. Give me a second here. <laughs> I'm working on it. We will be in the Quadzilla tune soon. I hope. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> 
So that was the Quadzilla tune, not custom tune. Yep. Yep, the default Quadzilla tune in, in tune 10. 351 horsepower is what you just did. And oh, we got some junk here. We'll have to look on the big screen. So it's a little bit down, but again, we're like, it's pretty. substantially hotter than it was last time. That's 10, 10 horsepower. Yeah. That's reasonable for how hot it is. So, so 351 horsepower. So still very respectable. 362 before, 351 now. Let's load in, your, load in the power driven tune and see if we pick yep. up anything. Okay. Um, this is kind of optimized for this turbo. Um, this is just what Griff loaded up for us, so we'll see yeah. how it does. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to load up what Griff gave us here. It's funny. It's, he called it the street lard because it is a fat lard. The Willard. lard. Willard. And Willard it's the street, street tuna. So load that guy up. Make sure we're in tune 10. Tune 10 for Willard butt. For the Willard. <laughs> <laughs> Willard. Yeah, that, I'm going to pronounce that word different from, from here on out. This is now known as Willard. <laughs> it's Will Lard. Will Lardo. Because it is a fat lard. It's got a baby got back, man. These dualies, I'm serious, man. Yeah. 374. So, so it's a little bit spicier. 831. So about 20 foot pounds and 23, 23 yeah. horsepower. Yeah, right there. I'm actually surprised it's that high, honestly, because I would when Quadzilla built their tunes, they built it with a stock turbo and for a stock turbo. Yeah. So, I mean, we did kind of build this for a little bit bigger turbo, but we're still limited to the, to the stock injectors. And so, uh, but they're technically didn't make a little more power. If you feel on the street, how about a uh, spool up? Was there any noticeable difference there? But yeah, oh, yeah, it did come up a little bit faster there. Yep, that, that boost too. Yeah, way faster. That's way nicer. Nice. Yeah, let's go check it out. Okay, cool. Right, let's go to the big screen. All right, guys, we were done on the dyno. We did a bunch of runs today with the Quadzilla tune and our tune as well. We wanted to give you the best of both. So these are the best runs we got today uh, for both of them. So right now we yep. have the Quadzilla tune loaded up, the 351, yep. 810 foot-pounds of torque. Yep, 810, 351. And then the best of the day was on Griff's tuna is 375 that's pretty good. That's and 827 that's so a, that's, a real, that's real big yeah we're talking 17 foot pounds of torque and 24 horsepower 24 horsepower not too bad not too bad and then we compare them just look at that spool and yeah that's what we felt on the street for sure like it just came up a little bit faster there yeah, so if you guys look at these two lines here's horsepower and torque last time on we were on this i said that boost limited fueling i just felt that it should come up quicker and with, with Griff's tune, you can see this This is you know, pale yellow versus dark yellow or strong yellow, we'll say that's the torque curve. Yep. And getting the fuel to come in earlier just gives us that way more torque because, like I say, this turbo is going to flow more air naturally, even at a lower boost. So it wasn't smoky at all. No, it wasn't smoky. And that's what's nice is like it was you could see a very, very, very slight haze right kind of here when it was spooling up. And we're the same there. Mm -hmm. But we brought in more fuel. Or Griff brought in more fuel where it was went pure yeah. clean just yeah. to kind of get it to come up faster and you can totally tell while driving it it felt a lot better and you can just see how much better it carries that torque curve yeah. how, much better it how much better it carries a horsepower curve and again i don't i think quadzilla if they had our turbo when they developed their tunes would have done something similar they developed their tunes for a stock hx35 yeah this tune was developed for the 6064 with stock injectors so obviously we have we have different parts so i think quadzilla's tune is very very good yeah, it was good. I wasn't sure what to expect with just a box stock tune, but you could tell they definitely spent a good amount of time yeah. you know, setting it up. But once you start going and modifying anything, this is not what they designed it for. So yeah. it makes sense. Which is really cool that they give you the ability to custom tune. Like that, here's a, for sure. here, this will work in your truck. If you add more parts to it, have at it, boys. And so that's what Griff did. And hey, this is awesome. So yeah, 375 horsepower, um, quicker spool up, noticeable on the street, for sure. I didn't notice that right yeah. away. That was really nice and overall super fun truck. And now the next time you see this, we're putting freaking injectors in. I've been yeah. asking for injectors for a long time. You're like, no, give me turbo. No, give me tuning. I'm like, I want some fuel. And I feel like it was the right choice, but now we're t it's injectors. So yes. We're doing it now. Sick. And like, so our goal was 500 horse. Yeah. And we're at 375. Like we are we're right close. there. It feels like we're pretty close. Well, with an injector swap away, yeah, I this, hope. This thing, this thing is going to be fun. It already is fun. It's already surprisingly nimble yeah. for a big, heavy truck. For sure. <laughs> yeah. I was like kind of surprised. Yeah. I was like, 
Let's it go. It does pretty good. Yeah. So it anyway, comes up so clean. It's not, ah, it drives nice. It is. It's too, I mean, no one's embarrassing to shoot this truck. You can just flat foot it. It's clean. It's fun. It's fast. And yeah. uh, it's about to get some real power. So stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe. Share this video. Leave comments on what you want to see. But next time, when you see some injectors, we're going to make some more power. For sure.